Okay, so first you're going to lay your two yards of white fabric down, and then you're going to put your maxi dress over it. And then I, you need to make sure you leave room at the top and bottom just to be safe. And then I traced the outline of the dress. And then I used my folder to draw a straight line at the top. Then I cut everything out, making sure my lines are really clean. Then I cut the top to make sure it was a straight line and very even. And then once you do all that, it should look like this so far. And then I'm taking elastic and wrapping it around my waist and cutting it. And then I am going to use fabric glue to glue the dress onto the waistband or the elastic. And then I clipped it so it could dry. And then I'm doing the same thing on the other side with fabric glue and elastic. And then I pin that down to dry. And after all of that dried, I put my gold tool over the white fabric and I cut out the length that I needed. I just made it the same length as the skirt. And then every six inches, I poked a hole into the tool and then I wove a string in and out and in and out of the um, tool so it made a nice ruffle detail and it looked like this when I'm finished. And then I fabric glued the sides of the tool to the elastic and now I am tracing out my tank top for the top part of the dress. And I cut all that out and for this you need to make sure your lines are really clean. Don't have any scraggly pieces. And then I laid the gold tool down and then I laid the shirt pattern on top of it. And then I cut the gold tool about an inch away from where the shirt is so that I have a little bit of extra. And then I took fabric glue and I wrapped the gold, the extra gold tool around the back of the shirt so that it would stay on without me having to sew anything. And then now for the straps, I'm cutting three pieces of gold tool. And then I tie all three pieces together in a knot. And then I begin to braid all the way down. You should probably measure the length that you want it first, but I just kind of winged it. And then using fabric glue again, I'm gluing down the straps to the top of my shirt. And then I pin that in place. I'll show you that in a second, I guess. And then I cut out little strips of triangles of white fabric and I covered the ends of the tool just so it wasn't itchy. And then I applied more glue and then I pinned it in place. I'm doing the same thing on the other side. And then using my gold string that I got from Hobby Lobby, I am clipping it to the top and then wrapping it in the same pattern that Katy Perry had it. It went around her bust and then it looked like it crisscrossed in the back, but I didn't have enough string, so I just pinned it to the sides of my shirt. And then I cut them and pinned it again to where I cut it so that it looks like it just crisscrosses, but it really doesn't. And then she had her tied to the side, so I did that too. Then I glued the fabric, or the string design, onto the um, top part of the shirt. And then I cut some fake flowers and leaves, and I took my hot glue gun, and I glued the leaves and flowers down. And I tried to make it look as natural as I could, and I just did it in the same kind of pattern that Katy Perry had in her music video. And I used big flowers and little flowers, and I just kind of arranged it. Then now I'm just piecing everything together, the completed outfit. Yay, done! And those are the little hair clips too, which I'll show you later. So this is the whole outfit. For nails, I started out with a clear base. 
and I painted each of my fingernails. And then I'm using a Sally Hansen color Hard as Nails, um, and this is 485 in golden one. And then I painted that on each of my fingernails. And you only need one coat because it's very opaque, and this was 250 at Target, so I thought it was a good deal. And then I finished off with a top coat again on each of my nails. And that's the finished look, and it matches the dress really well. I'm starting with my makeup with a face primer, and then I applied concealer under my eyes. And then I am taking liquid foundation all over my face. And then I am putting powder on my face to set my foundation. And then I applied bronzer on the side of my cheeks and onto my temples to give me a little bit of a contour. And then it looks like she has a little bit of blush on, so I just put a tiny bit of a coral colored blush on my cheeks. Then I contoured my nose because hers is very slim, and so I did the same to mine. So that we would be twinsies. And then she has really dark eyebrows, so I filled in my eyebrows and made them a little darker. Then I am taking eyeshadow primer in this very light matte brown color and applying that all over my lids. And I do the same thing on the other side. And then with my crease brush I took this dark brown color and I applied that in my crease on both eyeballs as well. And then I blended that out. And then I'm taking this white color for a highlight on my brow bone. And I blended that into the crease color. And then I'm taking my favorite mascara right now, which is by Maybelline. And I apply a just one coat to my top and bottom lashes making sure to focus on the inner corners because I'm applying false lashes only onto the outside of my eyes. So I'm taking these little half lashes and I applied them to the outside corners of my eyes. And then I curled my fake and real eyelashes together. And then I'm applying liquid eyeliner over both um, well, Katy Perry had a very thick wing, and so I applied thick, a oh, thick wing, and I also um, wanted to do it to hide the band of glue from the um, eyelash, from the fake eyelashes. And then I tightlined my eyes and the top with a black eyeliner to make my eyes look very big. And that's the finished eyes. And then I applied concealer on my lips. And then I applied this very pretty e.l.f. lipstick in um, Perfect Pink as a color. And it was only $1 at Target. And Katy Perry had bubblegum pink lips for the look that I'm recreating. So I also have bubblegum lips. Okay, so for the hair, I first parted my hair directly down in a straight line, and then I sectioned my hair into four sections, clipping them out of the way, and then for the bottom sections, I curled towards my face and then away from my face. So I did a mix of both, except for the front sections, the two front pieces, and then I tied that out of the way. And then I took the top layer off of the middle sections and I clipped that out of the way as well. And then I did one away from my face and then one towards my face. And then I did the same thing on the other side. I clipped my hair out of my way and then I did one away from the face and then one towards the face. And then for the top section, I am doing one side is away from my face and the other side is toward my face. I'm just doing her hair exactly how she has it in her music video. And then these I did all towards my face. And 
then I ran my fingers through the hair to mess it up a little bit. And then you're done with your hair. Now to make these butterfly clips. I'm first taking the wire and bending it into the shape of a butterfly. You just kind of have to mold it until you get the shape that you want. And then you're going to cut off the extra pieces and break it off. And then take your hot glue gun and glue the two pieces together. And then I'm taking a sock that I got from the dollar store. And I just glued the butterfly shape that I made down onto the sock. And then I cut the excess off of the sock that I don't need. And then I put glue around on the butterfly and pulled really tightly the pieces that go around. And then now I'm painting it. I painted a blue, a pink, and a yellow one. And then for a little extra sparkle, I put Mod Podge and then glitter over the top in a line, like the little body of the butterfly. And then I hot glued bobby pins to the back. And then you are done with that.